Welcome to the fifth annual Adjust Your TV Hurricane Special. In this episode, required gear for hurricane deployment starting now. This is Adjuster TV, adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code Adjuster TV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. Okay, required gear for a hurricane deployment. Number one, reliable transportation. It does not have to be a pickup truck. You do not have to buy an RV. You just need to use the car that you have. If you need to take a couple thousand bucks or three or four or five, one, whatever it is, thousand dollars, and take your vehicle to you know a, a reputable, trustworthy place that you you know where you get your vehicle serviced and get it fixed up, right? Get the get the timing address, the water pump and all that stuff. Um, have them look at the radiator. Is the radiator, radiator in good shape? Is the air conditioner and heater working really well? What about the suspension, the drivetrain, all that stuff, and make sure that you've got a nice, reliable vehicle that has fully up to date on its maintenance schedule and use that. Don't go be buying new vehicles. Um, don't think you're gonna carpool to a storm. I hear this, I can't believe I hear this story, but I have people from my firm saying that they have, uh, three people showing up in one little car and they're all ready to take claims. Well, the problem with that is, is that each one of those persons as the as the individual individual adjusters, they're not gonna be in the same neighborhoods, right, or the same area. They might, might not even be in the same state, right? And you got one car, how are you gonna do those claims? You're not gonna all go, well, I'm gonna go look at Bob's and then we'll, the next one will look at Jess and the next one will look at Susie's, right? It doesn't work that way. So you, everybody has to have their own car. Whatever you got, as long as it's not a complete and total rust bucket, um, also, I would probably, if all you have is, um, there's a kind of a rule with claims, um, use what you have. If, if it's, if, it, if you got what you got, use it, right? Don't be buying new vehicles. But, uh, if you have a choice, we, ideally it's not going to be something that's falling apart and rusty and like big, you have to like lift the hood to start it every time. And on the other side of that, They'll be pulling up to the house, running claims in a Bugatti or a, a really nice BMW or whatever, because it doesn't—it's not a good look if you have to deny a claim and you roll up in a hundred thousand dollar truck or a car or whatever, right? Like that. The carriers don't really care about that because they're going to hear about it from the insurer. Like, you guys came out and you deny my claim, but the person that was here was driving a hundred and forty thousand dollar vehicle, you know, a Tesla or whatever. Just nondescript, you know, middle of the road, um, compact vehicle, all the way up to pickup truck or SUV. That's just like, it's forgettable, right? That's the ideal thing for a vehicle. Second thing you need is a way to get on roofs, right? Hurricanes in particular, high winds, right? So you have to have a ladder that can at least get to, to have the, the top of the ladder be extending at least three feet, the minimum three feet over the gutter of the first floor. I personally would recommend um, anything that's 22 feet and longer, whether it's a folding ladder or an extension ladder. Folding ladders can go into surprisingly small vehicles, um, believe it or not. Um, telescoping ladder, you can certainly run with that if you can find a, a good one. Um, I don't have any particular um, recommendations on fold or uh, telescoping ladders, but I know that they're better than they have been in the past. So you need a way to get on onto roofs. You don't necessarily need, you don't definitely don't need drones and you're not necessarily gonna need rope and harness, but you do need a way to get at least up to the, the first floor of the house. You need a um, camera, snapshot camera, if you could find one. You need tape measure. I like a 35, a minimum of a 35 foot tape measure, preferably a 40 footer, which you can order off of Amazon. Uh, like a 100 foot tape, uh, like a laser, and absolutely a laser is a, is a critical piece of gear. You need a gear bag, you put all the stuff in. You need pens and pencils, you need sidewalk chalk, you need a uh, pitch gauge, I like a separate pitch gauge. You know, you can order them on Amazon or you can order them at adjustertv.com slash resources. Um, it's the, the basic plastic one you stick on the roof, take a picture of it. Um, you need, probably should get some cougar paws for climbing on roofs. You need khakis, you need golf shirts, um, cause they may not have storm shirts, but even if they, ha they do have storm shirts for you, I'm still gonna get, bring along uh, golf shirts so that I have, you know, for laundry, such, you know, kind of a, 
you, you run out of storm shirts and laundry day is still a couple of few days away, right? You need a printer, printer cartridges, paper. That's kind of the essential kit that you need that'll get that'll get you off the ground. Um, again, you don't need a whole lot of fancy stuff. You probably could get away with, we need a good laptop, certainly. Uh, a modern laptop that's made within the last couple of years. It doesn't have to be a $3,000 laptop. You can go to Costco or Best Buy and buy a $700 or a $900 laptop that will do absolutely outstanding for you. Um, and you don't really need like a iPads and things like that necessarily. But to sum up this, you need reliable transportation. Uh, you don't have to be to, to buy a new vehicle. You don't need an RV. You need a way to get on roofs. You need a way to, to measure things. You're gonna be using your 40 foot tape most of the time because it's gonna be the, the easiest thing to deploy outside and inside. Laser, a way to get long measurements outside. And you need a way to print and you need a way to write your estimates and you need a way to mark things up. And that's, you know, and obviously clothes and, and, and a thing to, to carry all that stuff in on your, on your hip. Maybe have like a bin or something like that in your back seats where you can put all your spares and your extra stuff or whatever. Um, take that printer with you in the car um, and that should do it for you. Then as you go, as you work, you'll start to see, all right, well, I need this, I need that, right? And you don't have to like buy all that stuff before you go, trying to anticipate what you might may or may not need. Bring the basics with you, and then you can go to, they've got Lowe's and Home Depot and Staples and Office Max and all these places everywhere in the entire country. So it's not like they're, you're going to go, you're not going to, to Mars where they don't have any stores. You're going to go someplace and you're like, you know what, I actually do need a this. Run to the store and pick it up, All right? It's no big deal. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at adjustertvplus.com.